So we're doing a, a game that Seabass <laughs> wants to call Spill the Tea. How dare you. All right. And uh, so <laughs> yeah. because you've had all these yeah. uh, encounters, Mark yes. McGrath has uh, had a ton of different encounters with a bunch of different celebrities over the years. He's going to bring up a name, and then you just kind of give us some kind of uh, quick... Free form. Fun, or if you need to throw some shade, that's fine yeah, too. Yeah, do like that. If, if they're a I'm douche. bad at shade, you guys. I'm oh. bad. Even if they are, I'm, I'm just going to, and I know it tempers the game. Can you give us like Let's a, have a code word. I'll do my best. You've known him for decades. Kid Rock. Kid Rock is really, uh, really, I got I to watch him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. really nice. <laughs> He's a really good guy. Solid human being, you know, um, deserves where he, uh, where he is in his superstar status. He, he's a great musician. He's a great human being. He's really respectful of people. And it's funny when you kind of see the persona of the fur coat and I am kid. Like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's his whole thing. But he's just such a gentleman and a good guy. And there'd be worse people uh, for uh, a mission in the Senate in Michigan, ironically. Uh, so <laughs> I love Kid Rock. I, I love it. Like, but there was a, there was a rumor once that somehow Pam Anderson and I got together. And yeah. we've just did you? and no, we did not. Okay. And, and guess what? It, we've just never been the same since, believe it or not. Cause like, I mean, I think that was his one true, uh, True love, so uh, yeah. that kind of tempered our relationship a little bit. Oh, so uh, like, it was just a rumor, oh, you know. I, I know, but what are you gonna do, man? You know, I call you, him up, be like Bob. You pull, up, yeah. you pull yeah. someone's heartstrings, you know. And yeah. I heard he has a dope ass plane now, so like, yeah, you should. Patch well, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. We're playing Seabass's game. He calls spill the tea. Now this le- next guy, I know you're good friends with because you just appeared in their latest music video. This is Billy Corgan of Smashing Pumpkins. That yes. video rules, by the Very way. Very fun. You can see it right now at thewoodyshow.com. Love it. You know the funniest thing about the whole Smashing Pumpkins thing is I was uh, on the reunion tour. I'm part of their production. I'm actually this sort of how to explain it, like a Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey 1930s circus MC host. And I kind of introduced a few songs. Yeah. And so I did that. And then Billy called me uh, to be in their 30th anniversary. Uh, of their first live show show. So wow. I performed Fly and a Judas Priest song so with cool. the Smashing Pumpkins in New Jersey. That's awesome. And I'm like, wow. well, I'm sure he's tired of me. I've used all my cheesy one-liners. There's <laughs> nothing I have left. And he yeah. calls me the day they get home from tour and go, will you be in our video? Right. Now, now, all the Smashing Pumpkins have an army of fans, like real religion of fans. They don't understand. They're like, why? What's this Billy Corgan friendship you have? And my answer is, I don't know. There's something behind <laughs> Billy Corgan's thinking of putting me in where he's doing. He doesn't do anything arbitrarily. Yeah. Yeah. There's something he's doing that he wants this image in his. He's a very smart guy. And he's very yeah, yeah. smart. And he's uh, I, I just I, I met him at an Oscar party. In fe- oh, I'm, my God. Yeah. I'm that funny. guy. I just <laughs> became that guy. You know that Oscar party you never will go to? I go to one party a year <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I know Guy Osiri who manages yeah. Madonna and, and, and I've yeah. known him for years. So I go, I'm the guy that everybody looks at and goes, how did you get in here? Yeah. You know? uh, and I met I met Billy there and I just I was just drunk enough to charm before I got annoying. Mm. And I think he caught me in that <laughs> wave and said, okay, yeah, let me, let, me, uh, let, me, let me see if I can work with this guy. And that's been my Billy Horgan friendship. It's a new thing. Yeah. It's, it's brand new, Seabass. <laughs> I don't know how to describe yeah, honeymoon that. period. Yeah. Yeah. Romance. <laughs> He's going by, are we, Billy? He's what going by we? William now, right? William uh, P. Corrigan. What's next here, Seabass? I was going through your Instagram, Mark, and actually this is a more, much more of a current artist. Post Malone you ran into recently. Yes. Tell me, uh, you got any dirty stories about him? You know, not really. Post Malone, <laughs> I'm in another band called Royal Machines, and it's a band that we had at the Woody Show. Oh, yeah. yeah. And True. it's c- comprised of Dave Navarro and Josh Freeze, who plays drums, everybody from Sting to Weezer. He's a guy from Long Beach. Uh, and a bunch of just, you know, re- and we get real people to play with us, like Steven Tyler, Ozzy, uh-huh. uh, Billy Idol, a ton of people. So uh, Post Malone was across the street playing a gig in San Francisco about a year ago. We were doing a corporate show, and uh, some friends of ours who knew, knew Post, um, uh, went over there and with a bag of money and said, "Will you come over and just uh, and 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 do a couple songs?" And there was a lot of money in the bag. And he goes, "Sure." So he went over and he did a live by Pearl Jam, I think, and uh, "Man in the Box" by nice. Alice. Really? Yeah, because note he's... for note, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Really, it huh. blew my mind. And so, of course, I got to get a picture because you know my kids know uh-huh. who that is. You know, yeah. you know. Uh-huh. And so, of course, I put up on Instagram like we're fake friends immediately. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I got about ten thousand extra followers in five minutes. Do you remember where the uh, where that show was? Yeah, it was in the it was in the middle of San Francisco. It was for like Google it was a corporate show. Was so. it called the Battery? Is it the name of the place? It might it, probably. We uh, went there and they, they yeah. do a lot of those type of things there, and that's where all the tech guys Dude, hang out. That's in, it, it's, it's like right in the financial district, it's, and it's, it's it's in a park, right? Um, was it outside? Oh, no, that might have been Moscone Center. Is what yeah, you just, maybe. Yeah. It might yeah, have been yeah, exactly probably. what it was. It was yeah. outside. So I, I, another Post Malone story that uh-huh. you're, you're going to bore the hell out mm-hmm. of you about. No. So no. there he goes, dude, I'm writing a new song for yeah. my record. And and in it, I have a thing that goes, I just want to fly. Put my arms around me, baby. Will you be in the video? And I'm like, yeah, dude, sure. No problem. Yeah, give me an arm. Ah, and forgot about it. You know, no yeah. big deal. 
Record comes out, you know, uh, beer bongs and whatever Bentley's, it's called. Yeah, and, huh? and, and it sells 650,000 copies first week. Song number 12, Sugar Wraith, it's called. And in it is the song where he goes, I just want to fly, put your arms around me, yeah. baby. Maybe I should have returned his call yeah, for the maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no one's ever accused no. me of being smart. Oh, I mean, this guy, <laughs> he was reaching out to me to go, dude, you, I mean, I've got the song. Yeah. You hear this all the time. Like, dude, uh, join me in the studio. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't know the song was done and coming out. You know, so uh, wow. this yeah. is uh, my, my posty story, if you will. Right. Yeah. And just oh. the kids call him posty. Wow. <laughs> all right, let's do uh, one more, Seabass. Spill the tea. Well, let's go with an easy one since you talked about him in Celebrity Apprentice. Eight hours in a room with Gary Busey. Oof. Gary Busey uh, has prepared me to be a father because he's <laughs> like, he's like a child, and I yeah. love I love I love my kids and I love Gary Busey. But after six hours of Gary Busey, you go get out of here. Yeah. He drives you insane. <laughs> You've done all the point break dialogue you can. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you talk. Give me two. Really? He do, does it all. He does all yeah. the Buddy Holly stuff. He's yeah. willing to do it all. Yeah. Then he'll just stop. Yeah. Start like you know just. Just, just like hacking and coughing and yeah. and oh. stopping you in your, your tracks and he, he's just he, then he just like, then, he, then he gets dark on you and starts yeah. doing these yeah. uh, Gary oh, Busey colloquialisms you know yeah. you know what fear is uh, farts, yeah. farts entertaining your anus or something whatever he does you know what I'm saying acronyms and it just gets real dark and you go get me out of here oh, yeah so tiring it, it's God. like it's he's yeah. the ultimate Calgon take me away guy but. <laughs> I love the guy. Every time I see him, it's all hugs yeah, and love. Yeah. He was in Sharknado 6 with me, and he was uh, uh, he was just a, a lovely guy. He's a great guy, very cool, but, man, he will wear you the hell out, man. Dude, I'm telling you, the the most trippy story that I have is, like, I was at the um, Hollywood Improv, and I was supposed to go in the green room, so I have to walk through, like, some basement-type area into the small room, and it's dark. No one's in there, and... Crisscross applesauce. Gary Busey is sitting on top of a table by himself. No. <laughs> yes. What the hell? Like, what is happening? <laughs> Did you acknowledge him? Yeah. I'm like, hey. He's like, hey. Hey, buddy. <laughs> just kept on was he performing? Is that it? He was, he was like, doing I, mean, I don't want to hear anymore. That's yeah. all I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Gary yeah, Busey's yeah. sitting by himself in the dark on a table. Yeah. And it well, sounds like Gary. Uh, Mark McGrath. <laughs> Go see Mark with Sugar Ray if uh, you're in the L.A. area, Orange County area. He's playing Pasadena this Saturday at The Rose. Tickets at markmcgrath.com. Or uh, if you're making a trip to Vegas... Hell yeah. Uh, this Dude, fall. Yeah. We'll be at the Paris. And yeah. you said like November the through. <laughs> yeah, I, my first, my show was November 15th and my last one was December 2nd. So it's, okay. you know, it's like a three week mm-hmm. thing. And then, you know, it, the show's brand new. It's starting to see how it reacts. And right. it's, it's gotten some great reviews and great uh, That's cool. turnout so far. So yeah, I mean, good yeah. things are happening. And of course, uh, you know, Sugar Ray is playing these different festivals and stuff throughout the country. So keep an eye on markmcgrath.com. But Mark, always thanks for being such a great guy, man. Yeah, and, you're hey, the best. Thank you, Mark. Everybody here, Woody, you are everything, but this show is uh, everything. Aww. You, you guys, Aww. man, this is your crew and staff. Is, there's a reason thanks, why man. you guys are where you're at. So thanks yeah. so much for Thank having you. Me. Well, thank you for being here. Mark McGrath, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.